Do you know the answer to this question? When galaxies smash together, would the planets smash together too? Now, galaxies may hold hundreds of billions of stars, like the Milky Way's 300 billion or even Andromeda's trillion stars. But when galaxies collide, almost none of those stars or planets physically hit each other because there's an enormous amount of empty space between the stars. Here's some perspective. Let's say the sun is the size of this ping pong ball here in Sydney. Even at this size, the nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, would be about the size of a pea in Adelaide. But hey, we're in the outer suburbs of the Milky Way galaxy, and stars around the centre of the galaxy, they're much closer together than we are out here. But even then, on this scale, they would only be about 3.2 kilometres from each other. So when you think about thousands of ping pong balls, all separated by at least three kilometres travelling toward each other, do you think that the chance of collisions is likely? Yeah, probably not. So collisions between physical stars are extremely unlikely and therefore collisions between planets, which are much, much smaller, would be even less likely as well. Fun bonus fact, even our solar system as a whole would likely be unbothered by the possible collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda. The planets would still happily orbit around the sun. However, what might happen is that the solar system could get full lung further away from the center of the galaxy or even get completely yeeted from the galaxy entirely.